Little kids, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Not yet, but it's almost here. <clears throat> Week number 12 in the NFL features some games, you know. <laughs> um, we start out with the Colts and the Texans. Now, this game really doesn't even matter. Um, Jacoby sets back. Sean Watson and the Texans are reeling right now after a loss that bad to the Ravens, you know. Um, Browns, Dolphins, disgusting matchup. Does not really matter. Lions, Redskins, also a disgusting matchup. Don't really care for that either. Raiders, Jets, also disgusting. Do not care at all. Giants, Bears, uh, 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 it's so bad. Like, who wants to see Daniel Jones versus Mitchell Trubisky? Who wants to see that? Then we got a couple of goodies right here. The Panthers and the Saints. You know, the Panthers are still kind of reeling. You know, they've been, been looking pretty bad lately. And the Saints, they are looking way better than ever. They, they are looking good. You know, the Falcons beat both the Panthers and the Saints pretty bad, honestly. But, you know, this game is going to be interesting to see what can the Panthers do to stay alive in the playoff race. Um, same thing goes to Seahawks-Eagles. This game got pushed back. It was the Sunday night game, but now it's been pushed back to 12. Um, Eagles reeling after a big loss uh, to the Patriots. And, you know, Russell Wilson make up up in there and do his um, Wilson shenanigans, you know, you know, people will talk about Aaron Rodgers pulling stuff out of his ass. Russell Wilson does it 10 times better. Honestly, he does it 10 times better. He's that good. Uh, Bucks Falcons. Now, honestly, it's the Bucks and the Falcons, but you know, Falcons been doing pretty good lately. So, you know, it could be a good game. Um, the Broncos and the Bills should be. Interesting, to say the least, considering the Broncos thought they were dead in the water, but they've been competitive for a, for a while now. Um, Steelers, Bengals, oh boy. Disgusting matchup right there, let me tell you. Uh, Bengals are just not very good. They have no wins. And Steelers, they're just kind of there, honestly. Uh, Jags, Titans at 3.05 to start off the 3 o'clock slate. You know, does not really matter, honestly. Um, it's not really matter, but it's the only other game opposite the Cowboys Patriots, which is going to be rough to watch to say the least. So, um, you know, Brady and Belichick, they've always got every time, every time we play these guys, they always got the boys number. Um, and, and it's just, it's just a constant stream of L's against Tom Brady. So. Hoping that changes, considering that Dak is number one in passing yards and stuff like that. So he should be able to pass all over this Patriots defense. And then if the run game gets going, and it, if it does, you know, here's the open the run game gets going. It's, you know, Zeke and Tony Pollard, you know, hope those guys get it done. They get it done. Um the Sunday night game is the Packers 49ers. It's going to be a great game. Um, there have been some great Packers 49ers games in the past. This one is no different. Aaron Rodgers versus Jimmy G. Jimmy Garoppolo. Should be a good matchup. You know, you know, keep your eyes on that one. Last week's Sunday night football matchup was not that good. And this one is going to be a heck of a lot better. Ravens, Rams, ends. The week 12 slate, and it might be unfortunate for the Rams if Lamar Jackson gets going. The Rams do not have an offense that really screams, you know, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do something this year. That Super Bowl hype is dying down. When, when the Rams got to the Super Bowl last year, and just they just haven't been the same since the Super Bowl. They've looked lethargic. They've looked bad. They've looked terrible at times just it just looks so mediocre so i'm expecting you know don't want to don't want to predict any scores or anything but i do predict that lamar jackson will run all over the rams he will he will have mark ingram and all those other backs 
all those tight ends that he has, he will he will use them effectively against the Rams. Now the Rams can stop him, right? You know, but yeah, not a lot. Really, a lot of terrible matchups um, constitute the one o'clock slate. Then you know you only got one. You only got one option, um, unless you want to really force yourself to watch the Jags Titan. But you only got one option. So do I. Gotta watch the boys play against the Pats. And Sunday night's gonna be good, you know. Monday night and Thursday night kind of look kind of eh, but they could be some good matchups. But you know that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this week. See y'all next week. Maybe, probably, probably from this laptop. Prob could be from my phone. Who knows what? Who knows what the internet company is gonna do to me? I'll take care. Good night.